Want to build or enhance a home cockpit but don't want to break the bank? Well, there are a couple of apps available for Apple iPads, which allow you to simulate a G1000 primary flight display and a G1000 multi-function display. These apps are available from a company called Sim Ionic. They're typically around the $9.99 mark. One serves as the G1000 primary flight display. That gives you things like altitude, speed, your horizon, etc. And the other is the multi-function display, which gives you a very large map, allows you to input navigation data, GPS, etc. as well. Now you don't need both apps. If you just want to use the primary flight display, if you've only got one iPad, you absolutely can do that and you can use 90, 95% of all of the features that are available. But the thing really does come into its own when you've got two iPads available to you and you have a full G1000 glass cockpit in front of you. The entire system works over Wi-Fi. It works really well, actually. The refresh rate of it updating is really, really good. I never felt like it was lagging behind the simulator. And you can have the apps full screen, but if you tap in the top left hand corner, it gives you the G1000 bezel controls around the edge. And you can use these to switch on autopilot, enter information, etc. The controls are a little bit fiddly. And if you are feeling like spending a little bit more money, Simionic do do a Bluetooth bezel that you can put the iPads in and perhaps attach into uh, a uh, a more elaborate home cockpit, but these are pretty expensive indeed. Now, what I really like about the apps is that, that for $20 there or thereabouts, if you've already got iPads, this is a very low barrier to entry for a substantial upgrade to your home cockpit. Having the G1000 glass cockpit right in front of you so that you're not struggling to read the text on the screen or having to use the mouse to look around uh, within the flight simulator really did materially enhance my experience. It made the flying altogether much easier. And whilst VR is fantastic, it's still very performance demanding and it's very difficult to read the G1000 from within VR. So I think for people who take their flight simming seriously, this really is um, a you know significant uh, boost in your ability to navigate the aircraft, fly the aircraft, etc. You are able to input flight plans, which was really, really good to see. And the autopilot does correctly control the aircraft following either your heading bug or a, um, a flight plan that you've programmed in. It will do approaches coming into airport. It is missing in Microsoft Flight Simulator some of the airfield visualization. So being able to see the airstrip within the G1000 itself, that does work perfectly fine actually within X-Plane 11. I've used it on both of those simulators. So I think that's a limitation in Microsoft Flight Simulator, but every chance they will update that uh, in the period of time to come. The app has three aircraft out of the box, a Cessna 172S, Cessna 182, and the Beechcraft Baron G58. However, you do need to pay uh, a little bit extra. It's an in-app purchase to get the glass cockpit for the G58. And there's a small purchase for you to be able to customize this to use it with all sorts of different aircraft as well. At around $20, this really is a substantial upgrade to your experience, particularly if you've already got the iPads available to you. This really is highly recommended. It's a full five out of five for the Simionic uh, flight apps. And if you are building yourself an elaborate home cockpit, the Bluetooth bezels really are a very legitimate way of getting yourself uh, a G1000 glass cockpit. They've got an older version available for the 9.7 inch uh, iPads. They are discontinuing that, so snap those up uh, quickly if you've got an older iPad and they've just launched a 10 and a half inch version for the newer iPads. I have to say it substantially improved the immersion for me. Personally felt it was way better uh, than VR. So if you take your flight simming seriously, seriously consider these apps. So there we go guys, the Sim Ionic G1000 
primary flight display and multifunction display as always. I hope you're really well wherever in the world you are. Please like, share and subscribe and I will see you in my next one.